Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel all about hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Today, we're going to talk gear, and I'm going to show you my newest favorite piece of hiking gear. And believe it or not, it's made of cotton. If you have been with this channel for a while, you know that I am a big fan of the Buff. I've had several of these over the years. This is the one that I got for the Camino, so it's got the cool red cross on it, and this is one of the original Buffs. And basically what this is, is a cylindrical piece of material that you can use in a variety of functions. So you can just pull it into a small loop, wrap it around your head as a sweatband. You can pull it down over your neck. You can pull it up over your mouth in case you're in a buggy area or maybe it's smoky or dusty. And if it gets a little colder, you can pull it up over your head, give yourself a little hood, pull it back up to cover the mouth. And there's cool little twisty things you can do where you can actually form it into a kind of skull cap or hat. I recently got a new one from Palmuth, which is specifically made for hunting and fishing and that sort of thing. It's got a good SPF rating, and it is also permeated with small holes so that it is a lot easier to breathe through. And I have been enjoying this quite a bit. Now, I've done an entire other video on buffs. I will link to it in the description below so you can check it out. Because right now, I want to talk to you about something that is kind of in competition with the buff that I have found very useful lately. And that new piece of gear is the shamog. This is a major clothing feature out in the desert areas of the Middle East, and as American soldiers went over and fought for freedom out there, they discovered many great uses for this, and it is now kind of a standard staple of our forces' attire. So the first thing to note is that these are basically like really big bandanas. Unlike the small cotton ones, they are very large and they're also very lightweight. They're almost see-through. You can breathe through these and that does a lot of good when you are in areas where you want to filter your air. So if you're in a sandy area, a smoky area, a buggy area, it's great to have one of these. It's very simple to just put on, wrap around, and pull it down and now you have a scarf very quick to just pull back up if you need it and it also has a number of different configurations much like a buff but you have to kind of know how to tie them correctly in order to use them that way now i started using these in the summer so i have not really ever used them correctly as far as the tie around goes but you basically have something like this. You tie these two in a knot, and that is very good for keeping your head warm. When it's hot, you can also soak these and use them to keep you cool. And that is what I have mostly been doing this summer. It has been an extremely hot summer in California this year. By the end of May, we were already almost out of snow, but I didn't want that to stop me from hiking. Now, the problem with the buff is that it is kind of your standard piece of hiking gear that tries to be very water wicking and not retain water. That is the property of most hiking gear these days. Everybody wants you to stay away from cotton because cotton kills, right? The way cotton kills is that it absorbs moisture and it hangs onto it. So if you get your clothing wet from either sweat or from rain or a creek crossing, it's just going to stay wet and damp on you for a very long time. And in most situations, you don't want that. If it gets cold, you could be looking at hypothermia, even in temperatures well above freezing. If it starts getting windy, it can be even worse. Basically, being wet is just almost never a good condition to be in when you're in the backcountry. However, if you are in an area like Arizona, Southern California, places where it is just a burning heat, it is actually very good to have at least Ooh. one thing in your kit that can well, hang on to rough. water for you. And it's getting hot. And so what I've discovered this summer is that by hiking with a Shemag, I have been able to use this as kind of a portable air conditioner or swamp cooler, if you want to be more accurate. When this thing's wet and I just have it draped over my head and I'm walking, air flows all the way through here, around my neck, around the back of my head. And because the water is evaporating off of this cotton thin cloth, it is creating a cool breeze that just feels amazing when I'm hiking. It also acts as a sunshade. So if I've got my hat on and I throw this over the top, 
I can actually create like a little shade tunnel for myself. I am able to get full coverage of my head, much of my face, especially if I have a hat on, my neck, my shoulders. And this thing has been a lifesaver. Been hiking in the sun for half an hour and the smog is still a little damp. Definitely cool to the touch, but I am glad that I'm gonna get to refill my water here. In the meantime, it's nice to have this portable shade with me. I'm sitting out here in full sun, but face, neck, shoulders are protected. I can even get it over my arms if I really need to. It's like having a little portable tent. Pretty cool. Recently, I went on a hike into Hetch Hetchy Reservoir with my friend Crystal, and she had forgotten her sunscreen in the car. Well, on the way out, we had so much sun exposure that even the sunscreen she had put on was just not cutting it anymore. We had jumped in a couple of creeks to get cooled off, and her shoulders were just turning crisp. So we dunked this in the water, threw it over the top of her, and she was able to hike out a good solid six, six and a half miles in burning sunlight, and she came out unscathed. It kept her cool, it kept her from getting more sunburn. There are a number of other uses for a shemog, and these include uh, being a water pre-filter. Now, a shemog obviously is not going to get out all of the protozoa and viruses and things that a true water filter will, but instead of clogging up your high-tech water filter with a silt, you have fairly clean water to filter for sickness-inducing problems. It can also be tied into a waste sack or a haversack. It can be used as a sling if you get injured, a shelter situation in case you need to get out of the sun. You can tear strips of this off and tie it up into good strong cordage. You can use it as char cloth, fire starter. I've even seen someone use it as an impromptu bear bag. Now, I have not given up on the buff. The buff does things that the shemog does not do as well. For example, if you're trying to do just a very light covering over your mouth or head, it's going to be a little harder to deal with a full-size shemog than a form-fitted, nice little nylon elastic stretchy uh, buff. However, there are a lot more things you can do with a shemog. However, those entail learning how to do some stuff, whereas the buff is pretty self-explanatory. So I think they are both excellent pieces of gear. I actually usually take both of them because I use them for different reasons. If you're looking for something to wick water and moisture and sweat away from you, the buff is a great option. If you're looking for something to keep cool water close to you and for more of a coolant, the Schmog cannot be beat. Now, if you're not a big fan of the Middle Eastern patterns, I found another one that I like very much, and I call this my Murica Schmog. All right, I hope this short video has helped you out. If you decide you want to try out any of these products, check out the links below. It helps the channel if you use the links that are down there. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button and that bell so you know next time videos drop. I would love to have you on here. I would also love to hear some comments about what you do to keep cool in the summer. Is there a specific piece of gear like this, maybe something a little off the beaten path that you have found helpful? I would love to hear that. I learn a lot from you guys. I hope you have gotten some value out of this video. If you have, give it a like. Till next time, I'm Doug. Take it easy.